Hello and welcome to another demonstration of Equitec Hoofcast technology. Today the farrier Peter Baker is going to create a secondary or so-called prosthetic hoof wall to support a severely damaged hoof capsule and thus relieve the lameness we see here. Over to you Peter. This filly raced back in the last season on a very hard ground and the hole at the bottom, or the hole in front of a hoof capsule, tore loose. She was turned out two months ago to give her a summer off, because she'd been in training for a year. And you can see now the, this area of horn here, it's fairly normal, but the area around the bottom that was detached, the white zone had detached and the, the whole lot has run forward. What we intend to do today is to put another pair of cuffs on her. We then uh, nail some plates on the bottom of those and we'll see how much uh, more comfortable she is after she had the plates back on. So I should dress the solar surface off and I should put a foot forward and remove move this flare before we fit the cuff. So in there is a good we'll have a good sound square surface on which to, to work. But take this back so it's straight down with the with the wall here. You can see the white zone just here completely isolated, not producing any white horn at all. There's no unification between the, the bottom edge of the, of the dorsal wall and the solar plate. We're now just picking up a little bit of the wall above the dorsal depression. The depression is caused by the, the separation. And we're back nearly as far as he wants to go. We try and get as much straight lines if we can. Straight line down here, straight line down there. We've got some Equitec degreaser here, denatured alcohol, it kills bacteria, there's a few bacteria laying in this little bit here, underneath, so the, 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 the cleaner you can get it, come on sweetheart, I know it's cold, come on sweetheart, the cleaner you can get it, the better, give that a light brush, now with a wire brush, you'll notice as I brush it, the heat and friction uh, dries the foot out almost instantly. The products we're going to use today are the Equitec Cuff Cement, and a two inch Equitec polyester bandage. So we just, when we put this on, we just spin it around the hoof a little bit until we get that first layer on there spreads the glue, tighten it up as best we can, try not to get any closer than that to the hairline. This is some really fast setting adhesive I'm using, I've got quite slick at this job now and we can use the fast set adhesive, and whereas before we use the slower stuff I'll be able to put the water on to set the bandage off. We'll put a little drop of this underneath if there's any given it, there isn't, so take the nozzle out, put a little drop under there. Funny. I want to try and get it to stand on that level bit of concrete. The reason being that the underneath surface has got to be configured to affect something clear fairly flat because we're going to now the shoe to it in a few seconds. Right, we'll just tip a little bit of Saxon House water on this foot, on the on the cuff. The reason this does the make that's the catalyst the water that makes this product go off hard. Between four and six minutes now that'll be hard enough to nail a shoe on too. I've been looking for something like this for 40 years that I'm now fortunately in a position that I never have to go into a yard and say sorry so I can't shoe your horse, leave it in the box for six weeks and it grow enough foot then with a bit of luck for me to be able to put a shoe on. This cuff has now been on for four minutes. You saw you now can see it. it's virtually, it's not as hard as it's going to get but it's certainly hard enough for us to think about nailing a shoe on it. I have turned the foot up and I've cut out the, the, the overfill of the bandage on, across the sole that I was talking about, detach that. The rest will come out when I cut out the V to allow the heels to move, open and shut with the motion of the horse.
This horse would normally have a size a, a Machhead MMC 3 shoe on it. Because it's got this prosthesis on it, it's gone up to a size 4. Prosthesis has not only given it width this way, it's given it length that way, and it's given it depth that way. If you put the same amount of depth here as you put there, the ratio, the ratio here is three times the length there to one to the heel. So if you add one amount to there and an equal amount to there, you obviously are elevating the heel, which with the old thoroughbred race, which is one of the big problems, the heels do get compressed. So it does have, well as I see it, three or four different mediums I mean, that improves the, the conformation of the horse's foot. Um, that's probably why we're having such good success with it and the fact that the, the feet are actually regenerating very well underneath it. This is the metal cutting hacksaw. You can buy them from John Equitech. Uh, part of the kit. They fit in a Stanley knife handle. Once this thing has started to cut, you've got your initial groove, there's no problem. But when you're trying to do it left handed, it is difficult to get the thing to start to cut in. Remember there's three eighths of an inch, well, quarter to three eighths of an inch of bandage we're cutting through on this heel. Uh, it seems like a damn long way when you use the scalping bits out of horses' feet. That's gone through. This one hasn't quite yet. There he goes. I think that'll fall out now. With a little tuck. Barely over an hour ago, this was a horse that was very careful about coming uh, down the yard. He's now perhaps not quite ready to trot, but um, much more up on her toes and much freer moving together. Right, after we took the cuffs off, the foot tended to be on the narrow side. It was just about good enough to nail to. This is the second set of second pair of shoes the horse has had on in front since then. The improvement in her feet, in her foot structure, and the shape of her foot has been absolutely dramatic. But I, I, if you look at her feet, I, I, I would say those for a racehorse uh, has got chronic condition within her feet. Of a well acceptable, they're absolutely no problem to fit a shoe to, and no problem to clinch them up, and there's no problem with them retaining the shoe for the five or six week shoeing cycle. I think that's about all of the farrow we can do. We've taken a horse that can't, won't turn, won't come out of a box. They've ena I've enabled them to, well we have with the, this product enabled her to, to become sound enough to race and be trained and uh, she's due to run any minute.